Hey, I'm in here. If you want to make a scene just like the one I'm sitting in, keep watching. Hey all and welcome back to another build guide. My name's Luke and in this guide I'll walk you through my scenery technique for this module so you too can make realistic scenery for your model railroad. One of the most important parts of the scenery is your base texture. This is the difference between good and great scenery. I'm using simple and cheap soil scooped up from the riverbank. It's important to note that this is not sand, it's clay, and this is just what I'm after. It needs to be dry before sifting. You could just leave it for a couple of days to dry, or you could cook it in the oven, but you better check with the chef first. Now that it's nice and dry, I sift it into three grades, appropriately named coarse, medium, and fine. To get the fine powder, I sift it through a stocking. The fine soil on its own looks much too dark, so to get the color I want, I mix 50-50 sandalwood grout with fine soil, and I'm left with a light buff color. With that done, I'll prepare the module and paint an earthy base coat over the areas I'll be applying the soil. I lightly coat the area with Mod Podge, mix three to one, and apply the soil over the top. I use the stocking to help get a light even coat over everything. And once you have an even coat, wet it down with alcohol or wet water, then seal it with Mod Podge mixture. I use a fine mister to apply the alcohol and the glue, and it needs to be very fine mist. If it's not ultra fine, it will cause the dust to beat up and it won't look good once it dries. Any puddles that appear can be soaked up carefully using a tissue. Ripping the edge of the tissue helps soak it up a little bit better. Once that's dry, we can weather the rail. I simply apply Tamiya Hull Red for my rusted rail look and it tends to dry a shade or two darker. Remember to clean the top of the rails. It's easy enough if you just use a tissue and some rubbing alcohol. And that's the rails taken care of. Apply the ballast using your preferred method and seal it in place. I use alcohol and Mod Podge to hold it down. And unfortunately, as you can see here, it has left a faint line in the dirt where the glue ran out. It's pretty hard to see and you could probably get away without doing anything about it. But I'll show you how I fix the issue. I wet the area with Mod Podge glue using the mister. Then I apply a light coat of soil and grout mix over the top and once more give it a light misting of the Mod Podge spray. Now for the fun part. Apply some static grass randomly and let it dry. Around the edges of the grass sprinkle some Woodland Scenics fine buff ballast followed by the medium sifted soil and a small amount of the coarse sifted soil. Blend that in with a variety of Woodland Scenic fine turfs and remember to keep the road surface clean. I place some isolated patches of coarse turf and blend that in with the fine turf again. With that layer placed, wet it with alcohol and seal it with Mod Podge. To bring the road to life, place some fine turf down the center. This helps bring out the appearance of wheel tracks. You can also sprinkle some of the medium sized soil down the center as well, but not too much. Then again, wet it and seal it. The trees I'm using are the very cheap ones from China. I just gave them a coat of spray paint and sprinkled some Woodland Scenics fine turf weeds over the top while the paint was still wet. This gave them a little bit more volume. I use a small drill to bore a hole for the trunk of the tree to sit in and set them in with full strength Mod Podge. For a bit more life, randomly spaced shrubs around the module. I'm using Woodland Scenics fine leaf foliage. It's expensive, but I'm really happy with the results I get. And I glue them into place with full strength Mod Podge. The most important part of this whole process is weathering the road. This step makes the biggest difference to the entire look of this module. Lighter colors seem to work better when scaling down. Details need to be exaggerated to get the same effect you would expect to see in the real thing. Make sure the brush is 100% dry and just lightly brush on the shavings. As you can see, the difference is quite dramatic when comparing the road that has been weathered with the road that hasn't been weathered. And don't forget about the ballast. A bit of raw umber and black does a good job on the ballast and tires. And that completes the scenery on this module. As you can see from the photos, the color of the scenery is a close match to the actual scenery around my house. 
This can be quite difficult to achieve, but with some trial and error, you will eventually get the right colours, and natural light does wonders for giving it that sense of realism. I hope you enjoyed the build guide and maybe I gave you some ideas. Feel free to comment if you have any questions or tips of your own that you want to share. And until next time, happy railroading. Cheers.